fourth verse. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing song, sing praise unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy love and kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the heart with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy word. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. May the Lord bless those reading here his sweet and precious words. Praise the Lord, saints.
hour to God who is truly the head of my life. Glad to be here on tonight. I'm supposed to do the welcome. I want y'all to pray for me because there's been a lot going on. And I, just, um, I just thank God for my relationship with him. About a couple weeks ago, my sister's, um, her, her children's father was shot three times in the back. Gang related. But I thank God for his relationship, for my relationship with him, to know who he is in my life. Yesterday I got a call from my friend and she said I cannot see out of one of my eyes. And I rushed her to the emergency room. She had surgery on this morning. The doctor told her her blood pressure was so high that it bust a blood vessel. And she may not be able to see out of that eye again. But I just thank God for my relationship with him to know who he is in my life. And I just wanted to say, wonderful Jesus. We need your protection, Lord, every day to cover, hold, and guide us in every way. There are too many people out there playing church today. Holy Ghost, please fall down, Lord, have your way. Just lift your hands and give God all the praise. There are too many dying in the streets. It's time to get saved. Just send in a word and all I have to say, welcome in a special way.
ministry. Amen. Glory to God. God is so good and he's, he's worthy of praise. Praise God for our mothers. Glory to God to our visiting, to our elders who are in fellowship with us, to our sweet deacons. Glory to God. To those who have come from near and far. Glory to God. We praise God for you being here on tonight. Glory to God. I'm going to go right into our program. First on our program, I'm going to call Missionary Dickerson. Glory to God. Senator of Hope, Church of God in Christ. I say amen for her. She comes. Amen. She stepped out for a minute. Amen. Amen. We're going to go on to Greater Calvary, Pastor Samuel. Let's say amen for him. Glory to God. Come on, let's give God some praise in this house. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Come on, somebody. Let's give God praise. Come on, that's your name. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Thank God 
for that birth. Amen. That God gave him after he was birth. Come on, sir. His mother and father gave him the first birth, but God gave him the second birth. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God give you a birth. Hey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his holy name. Amen. I'm excited to be here. Can't be show so much love to my, to me with my appreciation. Amen. We had to come. Come on, somebody. And just say, I love you. Amen. I'm concerned about you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We thank God for you all tonight. Amen. Praise God. So children, continue to bless the Lord. Amen. I got to feel my little praise to him here. Amen. And we're going to have them come. Everybody say amen. And let them say a little word. Come on, come on, bless the Lord with me. Come on, man. They, they few in numbers. Amen. But they're going to give you what they got. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for this. GCPC praise team. Amen. Greater Calvary Baptist Church praise team. Amen. One can play drums, the other can play guitar. Everybody say amen. Bless up your say. Praise God. Come on, let's give God a hand praise for them. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Bless you all.
say amen for us. She comes. Dinner of hope. Oh, how good and how pleasant it is yes. for brother to come together in unity. Yes. It's good to be here. Yes. Stay yes. sanctified. Yes. Stay full of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And thank God for it. Oh, yes. In Bible Temple, I come to celebrate yes. you tonight yes. and to celebrate with you for the excellent, marvelous job that you do. Yes. Come on, let's yes. give God the glory. Uh-huh, I praise you. I magnify you. I lift you up. 
hover over, but I do like to look at his face every once in a while. Sometimes he come by the shop and you think we just met because we sit there for hours. I know he's busy, but he takes the time. And I don't give him no garbage. I don't try to worry. And I know he's trying to do some stuff with me, but I want him to know tomorrow you're going to be taking care of on that. You got to understand, saints, that it's just so much that one can have at one time. But with the help of the Lord, sometimes, you know, look like people can take a whole bunch and a whole bunch more. But sometimes we need to just understand that He's only human. If God took a rest day, Pastor McCurdy never get a rest day. <laughs> That's letting you know something. Give him a rest day. I'm not trying to boss you. I know you love him. I you. Give him a rest day. Give him every once in a while. Then let someone be around him every once in a while. We shut all the phones down so he can enjoy the rest day. <laughs> Cause as much as some people's church. <laughs> it's wonderful. You. you can lift your head up and be proud. Yeah. A lot of people had to move out of their places. You can give God the glory. If you're here.
Glory. God is so good. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to call on friendship. Pastor McDonald, let's say amen for him as he comes. Glory to God. Amen. 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 To all, the, uh, all of the guests in the house and to the Revival Temple family, amen. Certainly, we're just honored to be here on tonight to be able to celebrate 27 years in the ministry as Revival Temple. And I, one thing I can say that out of those 27 years, I've watched for 24 years that I've been saved. And ever since I've been saved, uh, the Friendship Ministry is all in fellowship with the Revival Temple. And so, one of the things I can truly thank God for, even with your theme on tonight, where it's befitting because you have a pastor a long time ago, must have made up in his mind, he says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And over those 27 years, I know that has been the segment of his where he just said, I'm going to bless the name of the Lord anyhow. And so I just thank God for somebody who is steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, in the work of the Lord. And out of those 20, 24 years, I've seen him nothing but praise God. Wherever he goes, whatever he has to do, he's made up his mind to praise the Lord. And I just want to encourage you to keep on keeping on. I thank God for the young people on the night. For the sunshine band, amen. I thank God for the sunshine band. Keep on keeping on because as, as the MC was saying, that's tomorrow's church. And I love to see that they're still being trained and taught up in the way that we can go because there's a lot of stuff that have dropped off over the years. But I thank God to see examples of it continuing going on. And so I just come to just express my love and to show my appreciation and to say I appreciate you. Thank you, uh, Deacon Cheney, for your loyalty to the Friendship Church family. I just appreciate you. Just want to say thank you. Show my love. I don't have a choir or anything, but that's something that's on my heart. I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord which made heaven and earth. He said, he will not suffer thy foot, thy foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth thee, he will not slumber nor sleep. Oh. Tabernacle, amen. Uh, my pastor is Honorary Gaston, and she's going to be here 
um, tonight, amen, and we were supposed to come tomorrow, but she has to speak, amen, so that's why we're here tonight, amen. We honor God, who's the head of our lives, amen, amen. to, amen, my pastor in her absence, to you, pastor, God bless you, amen, happy 60th yeah. birthday, God bless you, amen, amen, to all the pastors, amen, and to Revival Temple, to my wife, Prophetess Gaines, wave your hands, God bless you, amen, I'm not going to leave it for you long, I, I, I'm, I'm honored, amen, to be here, this is the, my first time actually here, amen, and it is a beautiful place, God has really blessed you all tremendously, amen, amen. I want to say this to the congregation, and, and, and kind of to the to the pastors, and I want people to understand why I say what I say. Amen. The minister had came to me, and I was back here, and I was invited. Amen. I had my invitation. Amen. I wasn't on the program, and he came and, uh, and apologized. And I humbly accept his apology, because at that time, the Spirit of the Lord dropped in my spirit. If you look in this place, where you are sitting, and he said, whether I was sitting back here or whether I was sitting up here, he said, and if you woke up and you found yourself in heaven, would it really matter if you were up here or back here? I had to say, Lord, it would not matter as long as I made it in. And that's the point. your job. Those that stay, they want to make it in. And those that leave may not trust him enough to make it in. But as long as you do what he say do, nothing falls on him. Amen. When we bless God, can we bless God? God is good. No matter where you at, make it in. Make it in. Because we do all this and wake up and find ourselves somewhere else. What a waste of time. What a waste of good shout. What a waste of good dance. And what a waste of good praise. So every time you're not where you think you should be, think of that. Eternally, where I want to be. Right. Amen. We're going to have a, a solo by our very own Sister Nicole. Amen. I'm, I'm a pleasure and I'm honored to be here anytime. Amen. Just call. Amen. 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 God bless you.
our pastor to introduce our speaker. Y'all reckon all 
the folks in the world got is the church. When you get in trouble, you want the pastor, the bishop, the superintendent, the church mother, the evangelist, the missionaries, the writing letters to take down there to that courthouse. You want us to come to the jailhouse. You want us to come to the prison. Because the folks that got you into it ain't coming. And guess what the church does? The church does what it knows to do because it has divine purpose and calling to go to the prison, go to the hospital, whenever you done messed up, get tore up, broken up, we go. We come, we go. We come to the rescue. For the carry of saints and holy prayers. And pray you out. Amen. Amen. I didn't mean to get up with all that. Oh, we got a prolific over the dangerous airways. Thank God for my college buddy, Dr. Gaynor being here. From the Portland, Oregon region. Now he's a dynamic preacher, gospel singer, and all of that. And he don't get caught up because he has a doctorate, but he don't get caught up. And I call him Dr. Gaynor because he deserves to be called Dr. Gaynor. They're going to let him lose, I think, when? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Thank the Lord for Dr. Antoinette Wells. She told the folks there in Fort Myers, Florida, I'm, I'm flying out to be with my pastor. Amen. And she's here with us tonight. Thank God for that man. Amen. Amen. Somebody says, so, you sure it's called a lot of doctors? They the real deal. One time when they was handing out the labels, he said, y'all sure acknowledge a lot of doctors in the house. He said, well, I'm glad I know the chief surgeon, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs>
stuff was, I'm, I'm about to go far on y'all, amen. I, I'm in the midst of a struggle. <laughs> amen. And, 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 so y'all pray for me. Amen. And I'm going to try to do this in a few minutes. Amen. Y'all know how we are. And you give us a mic and we just, the time doesn't mean anything. Amen. Sit in a service one night, amen, at midnight, and they just talking. Not, not, not just talking. No anointing, no nothing. No one on just talking. Amen. And I promised God, amen. I said, oh my God, I will never be guilty of that. Amen. It's all right. I will get up and say what you got to say, what you give me to say, and I'm going to be gone. Amen. If that's five minutes worth, amen, I'm going to be gone. Amen. Now, don't y'all wait on me. Amen. Y'all get on and get in here. Amen. Amen. Um, um, I, I can do this one or two ways. Amen. I like to, I like to uh, talk. Part of communication is uh, that's the message, the message of the message, the audience. But in order for the communication process to be complete, there must be feedback. Yes, right. Yes. Amen. And, and I'd like to know you got what I'm getting, what I'm saying. Amen. So I have a tendency to kind of beat it until you get it. So what I'm trying to say, the faster you get it, the faster I can move on. <laughs> so if you don't get it, amen, pretend. <laughs> so I can hurry up and do this, all right? Amen. We thank God tonight. Amen. Um, um, and, and, and I got to apologize. I, I just about run out of church in the ground. Amen. Running violently by all over town. Amen. Next week begins our district meeting. Amen. And, amen. And they, they just flat out quit on me. They did. They quit on me. Amen. They said, Pastor, I can't do it. Amen. I say, all right, all right, all right. So, so y'all kind of accept my, my apology. We're coming in. We're coming in full. Sister Bronson just left this evening going to Chicago. Amen. So she sent her regard. Amen. God bless you on your 27th church anniversary and your 60th birthday. Amen. I'll be 60. I don't look as good as him. Amen. I kind of look like my 60. Amen. Amen. And I told him I'm having trouble saying 60. I really am. Amen. A amen. Because I still feel like, you know, I got a little something going. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So it's kind of hard for me to, to, you know, wrap my mind around 60 for me. So I told people when I, in December, when my birthday comes, December 23rd, I'm telling people I'm 30 slash 30. <laughs> I, I, that's gonna work for me, amen. I, I, I got it. That works for me, amen. Now it depends on you know the day which side of third I'm gonna feel. You know it, it's gonna be. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's that it's that side of third over here and that side of third over there. Some days is over. A whole lot of days is over there, amen, amen. So I'm hoping for some of them over there's thirty days, amen. All right, all right. From the theme, amen. Uh, scripture, amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful passage, and, and 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 a lot has been said about it already, Amen. So let me kind of just cap a couple of things, and, and we'll be done. I'm going to read the first three verses because if I read too much of this, um, I'm, I'm just going to go in, and, and 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 I don't know what's going to happen here, Amen. So I, I'm going to try to contain myself because this happens to be one of my most favorite passages of Scripture, Amen. And if we really get the understanding of this, amen, I know it's poetry, amen. How many poetry lovers we got? Amen. 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 Y'all go to the poetry things and y'all sit there and y'all do that. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about, amen. I, I, I think, I hope y'all drinking no, no, no sipping no champagne while y'all do it. And, I, I hope y'all just enjoying the poetry, amen. And, and, but, but this is good poetry, amen. And not only is it good poetry, amen, it's just good for the soul. Amen. I'm going to talk from these, third, these first three verses. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I, I feel better already. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. They say, oh, magnify. 
the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. I'd like to use for a short thought. Amen. Here. Amen. I'm going to praise him till you get better. Amen. Sometimes in the middle of your chasing, God is working 
peace, amen, and to bring you to a, an expected end. God got a hope for you. God got something in store for you and me. Thank you, Jesus, amen. And don't you be worried about what folks saying, how folks trying to block you, how folks trying to destroy you, how folks trying to hinder you. You got to concentrate on what God has said concerning you.
a poem worth of sand. I told him I want y'all to read the 34th Division of Psalms every day. Right on up to the church anniversary. Read it. And whatever that ails you, bothers you, you'll find resolve and relief in it. But in you reading it, what did you find? You find everything you need to lift you, encourage you, provoke you. There's no way in the world you can give God perpetual praise and God won't be in your midst.
preachers, the ones that got up, was we was all, they was all on the same page.
Mother Conway told some of the preachers. Ain't that right, Mama Conway? You know what I'm gonna say? They asked, they said, how y'all get this, how y'all get this church? How y'all get this building? She told them, said, when they asked the question, she said, our pastor ain't no greedy preacher. When you recognize it's about God, you give God the glory. God bless us. Amen. Amen. So I ain't never burdened this church by no money, no offering, no nothing. And whatever we do, we do it as a family. So as a family.